on Shooter 2 is a half halch saw tool. You're gonna notice a difference on my grips. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But let's look at how we're getting to it. So I came in here, popped the hands, got my underhook, inside tire, wrist control, worked across, shrugged it here, boom, boom, we're putting together the old takedown we just did. Now here's the difference. What we're doing is we're memorizing reactions. The human body can only react so many different ways, so I'm trying to memorize all the reactions he can offer me. This time, Brandon's smart. He feels the reverse headlock, puts his foot away. Now I can't step in the same way. I can't get to his hips. He's nullified my step and turn, my step and spin. So, because he's done that, I still have a great underhook to use. So I'm gonna club his head. The club is traditionally used with the pad on the hand here, that little soft spot on the bottom of the palm, right down here on the bottom of his knowledge knot. If you don't like the guy, use the bone right here, okay? It's not gonna look very different. I pop, come across quick for my chin strap. When I do that, guys, when I chin strap, we've talked about it before, I don't do this. I'm not cupping the chin. There's a difference between cupping the chin and a chin strap. The chin strap goes all the way around to where the skull attaches to the jaw. The cupping is here. We don't ever cup the chin. Chin strap goes all the way. Now, the difference here in the positioning. When I've taken his head here, we've done a half house before. And this looks different, I know, because my hand's up here now. And some of you might be thinking, well, that's not where the hand goes. It goes down here. That's true if his head is on the outside and we do a regular half house. But because Brandon's head is on the inside, my arm is safe here. If his head is on the outside and I put my arm here, drive your arm down, I can't maintain it. But watch, if the head is on the inside here and I put my hand here, he tries to drive down, nothing happens. It's too much pressure on his head, okay? So, going past it a little further this time, I came in, I got this, reverse headlock, the foot's back. He's done what he's supposed to do. I have to counter again. Chop the head, or club, come across, chin strap. This stays nice and high with the underhook. We always want a high underhook. Now I step, and look at the direction I'm stepping, guys. Let's look at this line on the mat. See this line here? A straight line on the mat, so you might be able to see it. But I'm 90 degrees going this way. When I step, I turn myself, 45, I'm off center. That's where I go when I sit, okay? When I sit for the throw. I'm here. And all I'm doing is sitting and bridging. He goes down because all this pressure is on his head. He's getting neck cranked down into it. Okay, so let's put it together. Came across, I'm here, reverse headlock. He puts his leg away. Club, get the head in the middle. I've got it controlled. I'm blocking between the jaw and the chin. That's where I'm holding the fingertips. This stays high. I step 45, I sit. Keep everything where you have it because you're already in position for your cow catcher. Watch my bridge. I drop my left knee, step over. My butt never hit the ground again, okay? From here, the cow catcher, because I kept that deep, deep chin strap, I'm good. I've got a good neck crank that I can use here. But I gotta keep this underhook high and pin this shoulder. What's gonna help is sitting out. I sit out, pin, 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 squeeze the chin all the way out to volume 10. As soon as I pull my elbow, I pull my elbow to my ribs, get my submission. So now let's take another look at it. I come in, we're reacting off of his reaction. I'm here, my reverse headlock's nice and tight. He throws that leg away, club him, around the back of his knowledge knot, we're clubbing. Club, get around on him. Chin strap him deep to where the jaw meets the skull. Over underhook stays deep. Step 45, sit, bridge. Now my butt does not hit the ground again. I drop the knee, step over. Make a very easy transition for you. From this position, I keep the underhook. The underhook really helps. I want it deep. It makes it a little more painful on him. I sit out. All my pressure goes to this shoulder. It's a pen. I don't want to pull him out of the submission. I want to pen him, pen him, pen him, turn his head, his chin all the way out to volume 10, and squeeze my elbow up for the neck crank. You have your cow catcher.